What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Goose Island Beer Company in Chicago, Illinois. This is Sophie, Belgian style farmhouse ale. Uh, this is part of Goose Island's vin vintage ale series, uh, the series of uh, Belgian style beers that they make, um, and a couple of the varying styles, but all Belgian farmhouse. Wild ales, even uh, there's even a Belgian style brown. So, um, some further notes from the brewery: Our sparkling Belgian style farmhouse ale is wine barrel aged with an abundance of hand zested orange peel. Spicy white pepper notes contrast the citrus tartness. The light, refreshing, creamy vanilla finish will excite those fond of champagne. Originally brewed by Belgian farmers to attract the best farmhands, we were inspired to brew an exceptional ale as inviting as the original Belgian farmhouse ales. Light and effervescent, we named it for our founder's granddaughter, Sophie. Let's check it out. All right. So, I'd call that a pretty solid yellow color. Uh, maybe a little bit of a pushing orange a little bit in the very center, but um, generally close to yellow in color. You can see not much head at all. And there is some carbonation going through the glass, but not much at all. It's somewhat hazy. I can kind of see my fingers. And uh, and the label on the glass on the other side. When I hold it up to a, a darker environment, when I uh, go hold it up to the light, what material is in there uh, clouds up the glass pretty well. But here, where it's a little darker, I can I can see my fingers through the other side. I can see the beer logo through there. I can't really make it out that well, but I can see it. Um, and again, the, the head's virtually gone by now, and the minute that I've poured it. It's just a little, little ring on the outside and barely anything on top. Let's check it out. Hmm. Let's try that again. A lot of kind of your, the standard, uh, like Belgian, Belgian wheat, I hesitate to call it sweetness, but there's kind of a, a special taste to that Belgian wheat, um, crossing with the, the pepper notes, and, uh, I think a little bit of funkiness as well. I'm trying to decide if I'm just getting like a, a, a strong spicy pepper note. Or if there's a little bit of a, a little bit of funkiness in there as well, they're kind of blending together. I can't quite can't quite decide. I think I'm going with kind of my first, my first thought. There's a, a good a good amount of pepperiness in there, but there's also kind of a, a Belgian funk quality that's also present in the beer. Um, just again, just a hint of hint of a of sugary sweetness, maybe kind of a, a honey like sweetness, in addition to the Belgian style notes. Um, I don't feel like it's a real claims to have a creamy finish. I don't know. I quite buy that. It does indeed remind me of champagne, but I would I would hesitate to call it a uh, hesitate to call it a, a, a creamy finish or a to me that would also kind of go smooth finish as well. And I'm not really getting either of those in the at the end. Not a lot of the described citrus notes either. Uh, maybe just a, a hair towards the very end and a little bit of brightness that's maybe being generated from that citrus. Uh, just throughout the drinking experience, really. Uh, 
Uh, really neat beer, though. The first I've had any of these uh, these Juice Island Vintage Ales. I uh, see them all the time in the, the beer stores, and they seem to be held in pretty high regard. I actually found a 12-ounce bottle of the Sophie. Usually they're uh, in more the the wine bottle style uh, bottles. Big, big bottle, 700 some milliliters, but um, found a 12 ounce bottle. Um, taste, but just tasty, very different flavor profile, even for a uh, Belgian style, a little bit less Belgian. Again, the I think the pepper really pushes through um, and makes for a makes for a pretty diverse flavor profile overall. So that is the uh, the Goose Island Sophia, their mini series. Out of their vintage series, and it is the uh, the 2016. You probably can't quite see it, but this is the the 2016 edition of Sophie. Um, so that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. All the links are in the all those links are in, are in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time at Poorly Reviewed Beer.